Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and I am a second year first grade teacher. Um, I posted some videos like over a year ago and then my school year got really busy. I only had a week or less than a week to set up my classroom with PD sprinkled in last year. And then a lot happened throughout the year, which I'll talk a little bit as I'm doing things in this video. But um, a lot happened, it was super busy and I kind of just let go of YouTube and trying to make videos and now that I'm starting my second year I wish that I would have just stuck with it because um, I could have looked back at all the growth and all of the good things that happened in my classroom and the things that happened that I needed to learn from. So all that being said I'm going to try again this year and I'm definitely going to do set up vlogs starting um, next week because I um, have moved to a brand new school and new classroom. So yeah, lots of life updates and even more than that. Um, but today I'm just going to be doing some projects to prepare before I go into my classroom. Um, some things that I noticed I wish I had last year and I just kind of took notes throughout the year and I knew I would um, do some of it during summer. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, and I have some notes. Um, so I wanted to um, do like line order numbers because I realized my students like they knew their order but they didn't like if someone was taking a long time like they got jumbled up so I want to have like a spot for them to stand on whenever they line up and then um, I want to do a lot better about teaching writing this year and the writing process I kind of feel like I was thrown into it and so I threw them into it and so I want to um, have like a poster that goes over the writing process for them to like clip their name on what part they're in whenever we're working on like a certain writing piece. And then I want to have an unfinished now what um, little section on my whiteboard so that they know exactly the options that they have whenever they're finished with something. And then um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this today, but I do want to do my schedule, which I meant to do that last year, it just didn't happen. Um, but I wanna have my schedule printed out and laminated and move that throughout the day or have my helper move it um, so that they know what's coming next and they don't have to ask. They probably still will ask, but they don't have to ask what what do we have next, when do we have lunch, when do we have recess. And then the last thing is I want to make a welcome sign. Um, last year I wanted a welcome sign like with my name on it, but I was in the middle of a name change and they were calling me my old name because I hadn't switched my name over. Anyways, Long story, I have switched my name because I was married before last year. Um, switched my name finally, and I will go by the same name throughout the whole year and for the rest of my life. So I can finally make my welcome sign. So those are some of the things I'm going to work on today. This might roll into marks. I actually have to go to Target to um, pick up some things or Hobby Lobby pick up some things for the welcome sign. So that's what we're getting into today. I hope you'll stick around and let me know what projects you're working on this summer or as your summer comes to a close to prepare for the new school year. So I printed these off of TDT. I tried to look for like a pencil like this in um, like teacher stores or online but I couldn't find it. So I bought it from the Ladybug shop off of TDT and I just, you just saw me printing it out. Um, I went for the more simple version with just the titles of the writing process and um, not the descriptions underneath. I'll have posters around the room and we'll talk about each part of the writing process and um, make those posters together. Um, to help them remember what revise mean and what edit means. But it's one of the more basic ones. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and we'll kind of chat about um, this past year. So this year was both, I don't know if you can hear this cutting, was both really, really good, but also really hard. And then I feel like my year was hard for like life reasons and not school reasons. Like I was at 
a wonderful school um, where I was living. I was in Nashville, Tennessee, and I didn't teach in Nashville, but in a county outside of Nashville. Um, but I was in a wonderful school with like the best admin I feel like you'd ask for. It was my first year teaching, but I feel like I'll stand by that in 10 years. They were the best admin, best team of teachers. Um, it was a really big team. I think there was nine of us. So really big school. Um, and not only were it was the school and admin and the people on my team great, my kids and my parents were amazing. It was perfect. I'm just gonna let these fall on the floor. Um, so yeah, as far as school went, it was really great. The hard thing was everything outside of school. So before I even started teaching, before I st like not before I got hired, but after I got hired, I found out that my husband and I were going to be expecting a little girl in March. And so I was pregnant my whole first year teaching. And then I had her in March and went on maternity leave. And um, I visited and went to like field day and water day because it was my first year and I wanted to see um, my kids. But being pregnant made it hard. And then um, I did go back on the last day of school, but I missed that whole last portion that's really fun with the kids. So um, it was good because I got to be with my daughter, Aspen, um, at the end of the year and then all throughout the summer. But it made teaching a little hard some days because it was extra extra tired and I didn't know it was my first year so I didn't know how much of it was me being tired from teaching like teaching tired and how much of it was pregnant tired so that was one hard thing I hope I'm like not getting distracted talking and then like accidentally cut the wrong thing yeah I did I just <laughs> I just put this on the ground for trash okay so we definitely need our rough draft um anyway so that was one thing that was hard and then I think it was August so like right when school started um my mom if she doesn't mind me sharing this, I'll ask her. My mom got COVID and she thought she was over it and good to go. And so she brought my brother up to Nashville for his freshman year of college. And she got really sick while she was up there. Um, like re-sick. She thought she had gotten over it. And um, ended up in the ICU for, I think she was in the hospital. I don't know how long she was in ICU, but she was in the hospital and didn't go home, I think, until November. So pretty much almost my whole semester, my mom was in the hospital and um, it was really scary. And I remember getting phone calls like while I was in school, like from my sister or my dad. And um, yeah, it was just, it was really hard. Um, but I think part of me, like everything was hard in my life. Like I was excited to be pregnant, but also I'm like young, I'm 23, I think. 23 um so I was obviously like nervous and having anxiety about having a baby so young but I was stressing a little bit about that and then um whenever you have any loved one especially your mom in the hospital really sick um won't go into the details but um that's really stressful and so I think to um I don't want to say suppress but to get my mind off of those things sometimes I um worked really hard at school so um, I had a really great year and my kids showed tremendous growth and like I feel like I could not have asked for a better first year teaching. It was just hard because like I said because of life things. Um, but uh, thankfully my mom um, made it out of the hospital and she is doing well. She's been back in Florida since November and I visited her and she's visited me a bunch of times. She was there um, when I had um, Aspen in March so she was able to be there and um, support me during that time. And yeah, I've been at home this summer with um, my husband, Wilson, who works from home, and Aspen, she's now four months old. Um, so it's been really great. And another little life update while I'm cutting is that, so I think the last time I filmed, I filmed one video, we were living in a basement, like right after we got married, we were living in, the, in a basement of someone's house and it was like super cheap rent, especially for Nashville. Um, and I think that's one reason I didn't film a lot is because it was so dark in there. There were no windows. I don't have like lights or anything. I'm just filming on my phone. Um, so it just made it hard to film. So I think that was the last time I filmed the video was in, I just filmed one in that apartment. And then we moved after we found out we were pregnant 
and we got a dog. Um, we moved to the apartment um, because of the dog, and then we found out we were having her. So we turned the office into like an office nursery, but we needed to move into a three bedroom. So anyways, we had her, and we were thinking we might wanna, we definitely wanted to move into a bigger place, and we really wanted to buy a house, but as most of you know, probably the housing market is insane. Um, so we were looking at a three bedroom either in Tennessee, where I was working, or in Florida, where I'm from, or North Carolina, where he's from. And we found finally found a three-bedroom um, in North Carolina, where he is from. And so that's where we are now with our dog and our baby and his family. Um, and um, my family's visiting in less than a month. And so I love it here. I can tell I'm a lot happier here. Not necessarily like the town, because Nashville is amazing but um just our house like the windows and the light and the space and we're not living in like a dungeon anymore um so super excited to have moved but those are kind of like all of the main things i hope i'm not forgetting anything the main things that have happened in the past year lots and lots of things so that is how my first year of teaching went um and i'll show you guys um the car um, I'll show you guys our dog. Come on! Come on! Come on, come here! Come here, Bubs! I don't know if you can even see him. Let's see. Hello! Say hi! Hi, Bubba! <laughs> now he's just gonna, like, sit here and stare at me. But that is our dog, Koa. And he is sometimes more work than our actual infant. Right, so I'm just going to finish this up. And then I'm going to glue these pieces together. I should have left a little white. I'm going to glue these pieces together. And then I have a laminator, but I, I don't know. I have the super long sheet, so I might try. But I think I'm going to have to go to like a teacher store or wait till I get to school and um, laminate the whole thing. So... I don't know if you'll see the actual finished product, but I'll go ahead and glue it and then just know I'm going to laminate it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I'll show you guys the finished product without it being muted. So, um, they're pretty good size. I was worried about it being too small, but I feel like it's big enough to where they'll be able to read it, and then it'll look really nice when I laminate it. I don't know if it's going to be big enough, because they're going to, they're not all going to be at, like, totally different points. Like, maybe one or two will be almost done while some are still working at the beginning, but most of them, especially the beginning, will be um, on the same ones. I don't, this isn't going to be big enough for them to clip all their names unless they get, like, the tiny, tiny ones maybe just put their number on it or it might just be a visual and we won't we won't clip clip where we are but yeah I love it and I wish I would have done this last year so this was I think I said it but the ladybug shop so project number one is complete so I think I'm gonna do um the I'm done I'm done now what poster thing to put on the whiteboard because I was gonna do the line order numbers, but I was gonna just print out the same little circle numbers that I put on their cubbies to tell them which cubby is theirs and put that on the floor. But I feel like there's no way, like good way to do that. So if I like hot glue it, I don't even know if I want to hot glue before. If I hot glue it, then they're gonna stomp on it and it's gonna get messed up. And if I like tape it, that's not gonna look good. So I think I might do like vinyl on the Cricut. I think I saw um, someone do that a couple years ago. But um, I haven't messed with my Cricut in over a year. So um, there's gonna be a learning curve to that. So I'm gonna have to just do that like later in the day when I can focus on it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this schedule. 
um, also came in, but I think I said schedule. I meant the I'm done now what. So this one is from the gentle educator on TPT and um, I'm just going to go ahead and print all the ones that she has. Some of them I don't think I'll use and I'll make up some of my own even as the school year goes. Um, of things I'm constantly telling them like, oh, you can do this, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and print that, cut that, laminate it, and then um, I'll speed it up. And then that's probably all I'm going to do today. And then I'll get, I'll go to Target and get the sign stuff tomorrow and finish that tomorrow after church. So sad. This is such a weird angle. Um, but it hangs over. That's not satisfying at all. So that's all I'm going to do today. I did the pencil. And then the I'm done, now what? Um, little signs, I don't even know what to call these. Um, that's all I'm gonna do today. And then tomorrow I will go with Aspen to Target. We need some house things anyways, and maybe Hobby Lobby. And I'm not entirely sure what kind of sign I wanna do yet, um, but get some things to make a cute little sign to hang outside my door. And then I will work on that tomorrow and finish it up. So I'll see you guys in one second. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday the next day and Aspen and I are about to go to Target and get some things for the house and for the classroom. <laughs> well, <then it's> easy. <laughs> go is going crazy. Anyways, yeah, we are going to Target to get some things for the house and for um, for me to make that sign. So it is her nap time, so I'm hoping that she will go to sleep in the car and be asleep while we're at Target. Um, but she's not been wanting to take naps and sleep the past day and a half. So we will see. Uh, I think she might be falling asleep right now. Anyways, let's go to Target. Y'all, I failed at Target. I did not get anything in our classroom. I did not get the things to make that sign. I second guessed myself. I got things for our house, so that was good. Um, but I did not get the little sign. I was gonna get the wood rainbow sign and paint it like I've seen some people do, but then I forgot how they did their name on it. If anyone remembers, please comment that or DM me on Instagram or something because I don't know how to get my name on it. And I didn't want to buy it. I was gonna use it. So I stood in the aisle for like probably 20 minutes looking silly because I just could not decide if I wanted to get it. Anyways, I did not get it and then I went to Hobby Lobby so I could get like a circle sign and then just paint it and then do vinyl with my name on the Cricut. But um, Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays and I forgot that. So um, I did not get that. I instead am going to try and um, do the vinyl numbers to put on my floor for when they line up. Um, I completely forgot how to use my Cricut, so I'm going to have to relearn that, and then I'll go ahead and do that and end this video. So, um, this video is kind of a fail. This is what my um, Cricut app is doing. It's just a white little square. Not really sure what it's doing. I'm going to let it figure itself out. I'm not sure how long it will take or what I need to do to fix it, um, but that is what's happening. So, um, that's going to have to wait. That project's going to have to wait. Um, I might just get vinyl numbers that are already made because that'd be easier. But I do need to figure out how to use my Cricut again. Um, but that'll just be another day, another time because it is getting later in the day. Anyways, that's going to be all for this video. I'm sorry it was kind of a fail. Hopefully my classroom setup and videos for that will go better. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm going to start that tomorrow morning. 
Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and do that so you can see all of my setup videos and my future um, first grade vlogs. Bye. <laughs>